this video we will learn how to compute integrations using monte carlo simulations okay uh, we might have a function f of x and we want to integrate between uh, a to b now in some cases uh, we can compute the integration of f of x and then we can apply uh, the limits right but it might in some cases this function f of x might be too complex uh, to compute the exact uh, integral or, or maybe uh, even if you are able to solve this analytically it might take too long uh, uh, to compute uh, the exact solution right so in such scenarios we can use uh, monte carlo simulations to compute the numerical integration now we are not going to look into the uh, proof of this derivation but all we need to do is we sample a number of points between the limits a and b and we compute the function value f of x and then we uh, take the sum of the f of x values uh, we compute it and then multiply with this factor uh, so that we can approximate uh, this integral okay so let's start with a very simple example uh, we let's say we have a function f of x which is x to the power 2 minus 2 x squared minus 2 and we want to integrate between 2 and 4 right so this is how the function look like uh, so this is x squared minus x and we want to integrate between 2 and 4 essentially we want to compute the area under this curve right area under this curve within this limit 2 and 4 so we want to compute the area uh, of this region okay this region all right now because this f of x is uh, uh, so simple we can compute the exact integral right so x square integral would be x to the power of 3 uh, over 3 and then minus x integral would be x square uh, divided with uh, 2 okay so let's call it the g of uh, x now the exact integral would be when we integrate the function f of x between we want to integrate it between a, a to b right so that would be g of b minus g of a so the exact integral would be 12.666 right okay now let's see how we can uh, compute uh, this integration using numerical simulation it's very very simple and straightforward so as you know in monte carlo simulations we do this repeated sampling right so let's say we want to uh, take 1000 samples and so here we are looping over uh, that samples now for each time we are generating a random number between a and b so within this limits a and b we are generating a random number uh, with uniform distribution meaning the random number is equally probable so any number between 2 and 4 is equally probable okay so we get the random number and then we simply compute our original function right so we are simply passing that random number uh, to the function and we are computing the function value uh, using this function so x squared minus x okay so we repeat this process many number of times and each time we compute the function value and add that to the integral right so by this time we have essentially computed this part so we have computed the summation over uh, n number of points randomly and uniformly sampled between a and b and we computed the function and we took the sum okay and then uh, in order to calculate the integral we just need to multiply with this factor right it's the b minus a so the upper limit uh, minus lower limit divided with the number of samples we took okay so the approximate integral uh, comes out to be 12.53 whereas the exact integral would be 12.66 now by integrating this number of samples uh, we can increase uh, the accuracy so let's do for maybe 10,000 points. So as you can see here, now this value is a lot closer to this one compared to 12.5 something we got earlier. Okay. Now often uh, in such scenarios, we want to compute the confidence score or the standard deviation, right? So in such a scenario, what we do is we simply repeat this whole thing uh, many number of times. So let's call this one experiment. So in one experiment, we took 10,000 samples, right? Now we can do multiple experiments so that we will have multiple uh, answers 
and for those answers we can take the average and the standard deviations etc so that we have the distribution of the answers as well right so here we we are going to perform 10000 experiments and each experiment consists of 1000 samples okay uh, this time uh, because we have n number of experiments uh, we have integral list uh, where we are going to compute all our integrals right so this part we have seen before here all we are doing is the integral we computed for each experiment uh, we are storing it in a variable called integral lst okay and then finally we can simply take the average and the standard deviation so as you can see this average value 12.667 is much much closer to this value right i mean if we approximate this to three decimal places that would be 12.667 which is exactly what we have got here okay and the uncertainty or the standard deviation is a 0 0.18 now if you want to look at the distribution of these integrals we computed over 10,000 experiments uh, this is how it looks like right so in this code all i am doing is i am just taking the histogram and then uh, sorry i am taking the histogram and then we are also plotting uh, we are also plotting the mean of the integral uh, along with the uh, standard deviation so one sigma okay so this is how the integral distribution look like as you can see most of the integrals are concentrated around this mean value 12.6 so somewhere here and we have a standard deviation of uh, i guess 0 0.18 so from here uh, we have this left uh, this width 0 0.18 and this width uh, we have 0 0.18 so 70 percent uh, 68 about 68 percent of the values lie within this uh, one sigma uh, uh, one sigma range okay uh, now in this one we have used a very very simple function so that we can analytically calculate the integral and we can verify how good the numerical approximation is with the exact value but this can be really really complex uh, function uh, which might not even have an exact analytical solution okay uh, that's all for today uh, thank you very much